In my previous videos, I have already discussed about different types of transformer, the transformer architecture in details about the encoder and the decoder. In this video, I am going to show you how you can practically implement the transformer for different cases for text classification, for sentiment analysis and for some different tasks. So before start, let me give you a short introduction about myself. Welcome to AD Academy. The main motto of this channel is AI for Am Janta. My name is Dr. Ayan Devnath. I am an IIT Delhi alumni and Fulbright Research Scholar at Harvard University. I have total 9 plus years of experience in the field of Artificial Intelligence, Deep Learning, Machine Learning, NLP, Generative AI. Let's watch this video. Welcome to my Metaverse. So here I will be using Google Colab to implement all the codes. I will be using Python language because like in Python, there are lots of open source libraries. Here I will be using an open source library. I will be using Hugging Face. Hugging Face is a uh, startup, is a New York based company. So you can type Hugging Face in your uh, system, in your laptop, and then you can find details about the Hugging Face. You can go to its website. And here you can see lots of printed models are there, lots of data sets are there. So from this Hugging Face uh, website, you can get a transformer based library. So Hugging Face is actually a machine learning and data science based platform where you can build, deploy your own model. You can get some lots of pretend model models also. You just need to call those written model and use them as an API to uh, for different cases in which you want to use it. And developers are continuously using Hugging Face. They are creating their models. They are using some pretend models and also they are deploying models. So this repository is continuously going. This is not limited to language tasks only. You can use written models from Hugging Face for computer vision, uh, for audio, for some speech recognition, chatbot applications and for different tasks. So here I will show you the uh, power of using Hugging Face and different types of pretend transformer from Hugging Face. And nowadays lots of people are using Hugging Face to create their own models. So if you go to these data sets, so here you will see there are thousands and tons of data sets which are available not only on language model as I mentioned there are different categories of uh, data sets like on computer vision you can get different uh, types of data sets for object detection, text to image, video classifications, then for natural language processing, text classification, question answering, for audio you will get text to speech, text to audio, lots of data sets you will get. Not only data sets, you can also get some lots of pretend model. Now coming to what is pretend model. So uh, you have used uh, chat GPT. Lots of people have used chat GPT. So the model which is used behind chat GPT is GPT-3 transformer. And if you see the number of the parameters which is used to make this transformer for GPT-3 is 175 billion parameters. So from here, you can get an understanding that is a huge number. 175 billion parameters is a huge number so it will take lots of time to train your model if you want to build a such a large language model from very scratch then what you need you need a huge data set huge means you need a huge data set you need a huge computer resource and you need huge time so all these things is very much cost effective also but for these things uh, you have to spend months to train your models so the time complexity also increases so what you can do you can get a model which is already pretend from internet from having face and you can use those models for your own purpose you just have to call those models for a specific task say you are doing sentiment analysis you just use this model and just get your things done so it's a smart way to use this okay so I will be showing you the implementation of Hugging Face. So first of all, what you need, you need to install the transformer. So I have to do pip install transformer. So let's run it. I will be using Google Colab. You can use any other uh, IDE which you want, like uh, 
uh, Jupyter Notebook, PyCharm, Spider, whatever you feel like. Okay, so I am running it. Let's do one thing. Uh, let's stop this. Let's change the runtime. So now, now my runtime is based on CPU. If you want to change the runtime, what you need to do, you go to change the runtime. So from CPU, I will go to TPU. So my execution will be faster. Okay. So I have changed my runtime. Now let's run it again. Okay. So it is going on. Yes. So transformer is a library inside hugging face which we will be using now so it is already installed now and we will be using it for different cases like transformer library you can use for sentiment analysis for text generation for name and data recognition for q a summarization translation feature extraction you can use it for different purposes okay so first of all we have to import some uh, libraries so from transformer i will be importing pipeline so what is pipeline so pipeline is a module which is used within transformer so let me tell you about details of uh, pipeline you can search it in having face so pipeline pipeline is a uh, create an easy way to use different models for inference so as i mentioned so just what you need to do in pipeline you have to just get the model name or the task what you want to do so it needs few parameters uh, pipeline so if you see here first of all you need to mention what for what task you are using then which model you want to use which tokenizer you want to use i will show you these things in details first uh, get some ideas on the basics of it so if you come here you can see so from pipeline after getting transformer installed i will be using this pipeline and here in bracket i have to just mention the task in which i want to use so it is a text classification task so and then i have to mention for which text i will be using it so it will automatically classify that text into positive category or into negative category so here it will show the level and also the score it will show with how much confidence with how much accuracy it is predicting so it is pretty simple so let's see some applications with respect to uh, with respect to this so transformer from transformers i will be so this is transformers import pipeline and then i have to build a model or a classifier from pipeline so i am calling this pipeline class and i am building an object classifier and while calling you can mention for what purpose you will be using this pipeline so let's do for sentiment analysis so now the pipeline has downloaded a pretend model for the task sentiment analysis and i have got a classifier an object for it i will be talking in details in my next video about what model it has downloaded here it has downloaded a default model if i am using for the task sentiment analysis then it internally uses a default model that model is google, based on like a google made model it is based on part but is a model made by google for different applications so uh, google part distal for multi-line lingual purposes i will talk about the models about which models have been downloaded in details in my next video but here let's see that i have already downloaded this model pretend model now what i need to do so i will be using these for different text classifications so as i got this object classifier so let's use this classifier on some text uh, for, uh, let's do on different sentiments so here are a few examples on which i want to show so one is we are happy to show you the implementation of transformer library and let's see how is it coming for this it is supposed to 
show you that the sentiment is positive okay so let's see whether it is actually giving you that or not okay yeah it is showing that the sentiment for this text we are happy to show you the implementation of transformer library is positive and it is also giving you a score 99 percent confident and with accurate high accuracy it is showing that whatever it has given you output is correct okay now let's try for some other statement um, say fish in the nearby restaurant is delicious okay let's try for this so what i need to do text one let me write down here this is my text one I want to do for this and i will be calling classifier in bracket i have to give you my text for which it is doing okay and it is supposed to be positive let's see okay yes it is also giving positive now you can do for some other negative sentences say i don't like the cake let's do for this so here i will be using text 2 and let's use this classifier over text 2 yes it is showing that it's a negative so it is working properly and in a right way so if you want to implement it for your uh, sentiment analysis case or for some text classification or for some other application then you can directly get a pretend model and you can use it for your own purpose this is just a, uh, here i am showing you the implementation of it okay now suppose it happens that uh, you want to see for different sequences for different sentences at one go so what i mean to say is that uh, let's do like this let's take a text combine text okay and here we are saying that we are happy to show you the implementation of transformer library as one uh, sentence okay um, then let's take another sentence i don't like the cake so these are the two sentences i will be using it okay so here now my text is a list which is containing two elements this is my first element this one and this is my second element so if you want to see for different sentences for different sequences then also you can do it how you do how you will do you will just use this classifier on both so result equals to classifier on what on text and text is a list containing two elements let's see how it runs here okay and for uh, checking the result what you need to do you need to run a loop so for result uh, for say results in result i will be printing it let me write it down and then i will be explaining what i am actually doing so what it is doing this results variable is actually doing the classification of sentiment analysis on both of the elements of this list text okay so i have two results so i have to see it in a loop so i am running a loop over both of the elements of results so while i am running so for result in results so it will take both of the things in a loop so in the first loop it will take the result of the first element and in the second loop it will take the result of the second element okay and what it will print it will print the level because i want to see the level level of what level level of the result and also i want to see the score score of what score of the result and round four means so i am taking the result with four uh, decimal values so it will be say 0.4 point decimal values i will take and after that i will not take the digits after four digit decimals okay so let's run it okay so it is showing that for the first sentence we are happy to show you the implementation of transformer library it is a positive with a score of this one and for the second uh, sentence i don't like the cake it is showing it's a negative with a score of this one okay so i hope you like this video 
where I have shown you the implementation of transformer using hugging face pretend models. In my next video, I will be talking in details how you can implement those things using a pretend model where you can specify the name of the model which you want to use. See you soon in my next video.